excited to say that all the apple butter is done and most of it is canned. I'm sure you're wondering how my experiment turned out with the apple pills as well as the three different ways that I sweetened each batch. Well, let me say this. I don't think I'll ever leave the peels on again. The flavor is great, but the texture's a little strange. There's like teeny tiny pieces of peel that didn't quite get incorporated even when I blended it. However, if you have something as awesome as a Vitamix, it would probably be totally fine. I have a Ninja. It didn't really get the smallest bits of peel incorporated. The apple butter that I already canned is the apple butter that was sweetened with sugar and honey. Honestly, they tasted exactly the same, which is exciting because we can raise bees. We can't raise sugar cane, but we can raise bees to make honey for us. The one that I sweetened with apple cider is still in the crock pot. It's just waiting to be canned. It is amazing. It is definitely my favorite one. And actually, I have to say that it's sweeter. It's sweeter than the sugar one and the honey one. Maybe because I put so much apple cider in, I don't know, but I have to say it's my favorite one. I can taste more of the spices in it. It has a little bit more tang. It's, it's, my, it's my ultimate leaf, my favorite one for sure. Grace just brought me a mum, so sweet. These were actually put in the ground by the former owner who passed away about eight years ago. So it's pretty cool that Grace just picked that flower for me. Isn't it pretty? It's the color of fall. Today I want to talk about the number one thing that I have realized I want to grow on our homestead. Our goal in this place is to become as sustainable and self-sufficient as we possibly can. We know that to acquire those skills, to build up our soil, to learn about animals, that is going to be a long process and take time. And the number one thing we want to grow, we won't see real fruit from that for many years. Do you want to know what it is? I'm going to give you some clues. Have you guessed it? It's pretty obvious now. Apple trees. What are all these items and what do they represent to me? Well, the first one's pretty obvious just a plain old apple. It represents food. It also represents what all these things represent. Applesauce, but it also represents the storage ability of apples. Depending on the variety of apple that you grow, you can store apples through the winter. You know, the apples you buy in the grocery store, it's not like they just got picked off the tree and then sent to the grocery store. They're sent to giant warehouses somewhere. And then the grocery stores stock them as needed throughout the winter. One of the reasons there's only so many varieties available in the grocery store is because of storage ability. So just the apple itself can be stored in the correct conditions and the right variety through the entire winter. I'm sure you'll get a few bad ones, but you'll still be able to go down into your cellar, grab some apples, make a pie, make some apple crisp, or just eat an apple. You can also can apples. They have high acid content. They're very easy to can. What does this one represent? It represents pectin. You gotta have pectin to make jams and jellies. Apples create their own pectin. You can make pectin from apples. I didn't even know that until you guys started commenting on one of the first Apple videos asking me, are you going to try to make pectin? I had no idea what you were talking about, but I've been researching it and you totally can. So that to me is another perfect reason to grow apples. You know what you do when you're done extracting the pectin from the apples? You make apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, I believe, is one of the most wonderful substances on the planet. Here's why. Say you don't have electricity. Say you don't have fuel. Say you, you don't have a canner. You can pickle things. Acid kills bacteria and makes it perfectly safe to eat. For all of history, people have been pickling things, not canning them. Canning is pretty recent as far as history goes. Apple cider vinegar is medicine. 
We drink it, my kids love it. We also make a fire cider with this. It's really good homemade medicine. I'm gonna be making that for you guys really soon. You cook with it, you can clean with it. This stuff is kind of miraculous and even better, you can make it on your own homestead. You don't have to buy it from the store. It's just incredible to me. Apple trees are the number one thing I want to grow on this homestead. Food storage, food security, health. I was dancing around the house last night, so excited about starting the process of making cider vinegar today. But some days just don't work out how you plan. Today was one of those days. Brighton, poor guy, he is cutting four teeth. So I have had to wear him, carry him, hold him, nurse him, cuddle him all day long. And that's fine. It just means I didn't get to make cider vinegar. Mom, look That's apple cider vinegar. Do you want to taste some? Mm-hmm. It's spicy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, yeah. It's not spicy. You like this. Do you like it? <laughs> it's strong. Uh, no one's saying it's not. But do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. All my kids ask me for just plain. Would that be a big squirrel game show cat? Let's try more. Okay. How more cat? Woo! Come more cat. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Come more cat. Yeah, you can. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I want to taste it. I'm going to try it. Okay. Help me hold it. I want to see your grandpa. Let me see your mouth. I'm going to take a little more. You want more? <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow is our anniversary and I'm gonna hopefully find some pictures of Arthur and I dating. I know where our wedding pictures are, but I want to show the kids. They get a kick out of pictures and I think we'll show some to you guys too tomorrow. Oh, there's one of Arthur beekeeping. We were not dating yet. I didn't even know him, but I used to live on a school bus and have dreadlocks. I found it. I knew it was in here. You can't see it until tomorrow though. The kids want to wrap some presents for art, so that's what we're going to do now. 